Bacteria reproduce very simply and rapidly by doubling their contents and splitting in two. Just one bacterium, dividing every 20 minutes, could produce nearly 5,000 billion billion bacteria in one day. But by the 1960s, this was great. We developed all kinds of new antibiotics. It's been called the golden age of antibiotic discovery. It seemed like we had a pill that could kill almost any bug. In 1969, the Surgeon General declared, we have won the war on infectious disease. Now, this turned out to be a pretty hopeful statement, because the line has started back up again. There are a few new diseases, like the human immunodeficiency virus. But also, it's partly because bacterial bugs have developed a resistance to our antibiotic drugs. These are the same drugs that used to kill them. Now, an antibiotic is a selective poison. It kills certain bacteria without harming the cells in your body. Now, different types of antibiotics affect different bacteria in different ways. But let's say this is a petri dish full of cells and they're under attack by these blue bacteria. And this glove represents penicillin. And this type of antibiotic interferes with a bacterium's ability to construct its cell walls. So when it encounters the penicillin, the bacteria burst and die. When you take antibiotics, the bacteria in your body will either die or they will survive because their genes carry a mutation that makes them resistant to the drug. Now that's how bacteria evolve resistance to antibiotics. Bacteria die or mutate, and they're mutating faster than we can come up with new drugs. That's the problem. This is serious business. The United States alone spends billions of dollars at the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Here, antibiotic drugs see for myself what the CDC knows about the dangers you and I face from the growth of bacteria that are now resistant to antibiotics. This is a staphylococcus. Dr. Fred Tenover pointed out that resistance Tenover pointed out that resistance is inevitable. These bacteria replicate and mutate so fast that the problem of resistance is impossible to eliminate. And so you can see these large zones here where the organism is not growing. The growth has been inhibited. That means that each of these antibiotics would be a good choice, would be effective against that infection. Whereas, if we look at this side of the yeah. plate, for the most part, this tells us that these antibiotics are not going to be effective. For some organism drug combinations, like for penicillin and treating staphylococci, essentially 100% resistant. We've lost that drug. If we look particularly in hospitals now, if you're unfortunate enough to get an infection after you go into the hospital, it's probably a 70 to 75 percent chance that that organism is going to be resistant to at least one antibiotic.